and I figured out what our job is for this section. We're just going to look really fast at some of the uh, slides that we have access to online through our rock stars at the University of Michigan. This hopefully looks familiar to you at this point. There's an entire section on connective tissue, but there's just a couple that I wanted to show you uh, up close and personal. First of all, check out this bad boy. This is actually skin. We're gonna look at skin in a lot more detail. Skin lines a space. And so this, what kind of tissue are you gonna to expect to see right here? Some kind of epithelial tissue. Is that where you're going to look to find your connective tissue? No, no, no because your connective tissue doesn't line a space. Holy, what a mess. Seriously, look at this. What? This is crazy. This crazy mess where you can actually kind of, I don't even think I see a cell in this madness. This just looks like pure madness. Maybe some of these dark spots are cells, but certainly not all of them. What do you think these big pink things are in a holy mess of dense madness. Those are collagen fibers, you guys. And those collagen fibers organized in such an unorganized way means that this kind of tissue is actually dense, irregular connective tissue. Like most things in biology, we label it as dense, regular or dense, irregular. And that's just crazy talk because it's a spectrum. And so sometimes it gets a little bit like, is this irregular or regular? Is this dense or is it loose? It looks kind of, I mean, there's some space in there. To me, to my eyeball, it looks dense because of the size of the collagen fibers. But you can imagine that there's some variation here. That's fine, don't worry about that. Let's look at what I wonder, oh, what do you think I was wanting us to look at here? First of all, holy space. What kind of tissue are you going to expect to see here? That is going to be some kind of epithelial tissue. Does it look stratified or simple? I know you probably can't tell I can because this is quintessential stratified squamous epithelium, but what is the connective tissue? There's connective tissue all over in here, all sorts of different kinds of connective tissue. This is probably some kind of dense, regular, I mean, dense, irregular connective tissue. Um, but these guys are the ones that I wanted, I wanted to show you them. This is actually muscle down here, but these, who's that? Who does that look like? I hope that it comes into focus this century because our internet is so slow. You see something that looks like this, like a whole bunch of empty holes? That's adipose tissue. This is a blob of fat and somewhere, oh, there's a nucleus. So there's the little nucleus crammed down into the corner. There's a nucleus crammed down into the corner of that giant fat blob. Thank you. And then look, this looks like, it looks kind of regular, but it really, I would argue it's probably not dense regular connective tissue. You're gonna see dense regular connective tissue somewhere that experiences like a force in one direction only. And Really, the only place that we're going to experience something like that is in a tendon that is attached to a muscle. It attaches a muscle to a bone. So dense, regular connective tissue, um, there's too much, this looks too messy for it to be dense, regular. It does look dense, doesn't it? So I'm gonna argue that this is probably dense, irregular connective tissue. Let's see what the other one is that, oh, here's another example of, look at this mess, really? It just looks super like crazy. Look at all the squigglies, those are all collagen fibers. It's interesting because we see a bunch of nuclei here. Those nuclei are outside of the fiber. Sometimes it's hard to tell because they're sitting on top of a fiber, but they're actually in between. This is like a big old fat collagen fiber right here. That, it, that means that we're probably dense. It looks, it looks messy to me, so it's probably dense irregular, but these little guys are actually outside of the fibers themselves. So that's how you know that this is a connective tissue. So those are probably fibroblasts. All right, those are the pictures that I have to show you. Now we're gonna take our connective tissues and we're gonna combine them with an epithelial tissue to build different kinds of membranes.